Okay guys, uh, in this part here, I'm just show a little bit on the human vertebral column. Uh, together, there are 33 bones in the backbone that make up the backbone there, the vertebral column there. Uh, remember it this way, like I remember it this way. Yeah, I'll give you a shortcut for the parts, yeah? Always check the, 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 the last six. Always check the last six chicks. A stands for atlas and axis. C for cervical. D for thoracic. L for lumbar. S for sacrum. C for coccyx. Always check the last six chicks. Here, the first two vertebrae. This is the brain, the pasto, this is the spinal cord. The, the vertebral column is around the spinal cord here. The first vertebral bone is known as the atlas. The second one is the axis. They still come under the category, under the category of the cervical vertebrae. They still come under the category of the cervical vertebrae. There is seven cervical vertebrates here. Yeah? After the seven cervical vertebrates, including the atlas and the axis, then will come 12 thoracic vertebrae, 12 thoracic vertebrates, we'll have 12 thoracic vertebrates and then we'll have 5 lumbar vertebrates, 5 lumbar vertebrates, then the last part here, we'll have uh, 5 sacrum and 4 coccyx vertebrates, 4 coccyx so in total there will be 7, 12, 5, 5, 4, total there will be 33 vertebral bones, yeah. 33 bones, 33 bones that make up the backbone. Now, let's just overall let's go through. Important, like important, I'm saying like for SPM this year, according to just by analyzing papers, passing questions, I think, this is a long time overdue question. And get this, like the vertebral bone surrounds the spinal cord. The count here, I'm not drawing exactly as the count, but check it out for me in a reference book, textbook, or any other reference. Yeah. Check this out. There will be 33 bones here. The first two are the sexist, there is a circle, there is a thoracic lumbar, second thoracic Again, the most important thing, I think, the most important part that can come out this year for SPM would be the comparison between the cervical, thoracic, and the lumbar. Cervical, thoracic, and the lumbar. Whatever it's see this one here. Huh? The cervical vertebrae. Simple, simple drawing explanation for the cervical vertebrae. The special thing about the cervical vertebrae, it has got these two extra side openings. No other vertebrae has these two extra side openings. Have. Other than that, the rest, the other parts of the same. They have this thing called the uh, spinous process. They have spinous process. Then the tando in the side here, this one will be the transverse process. This part here will be the transverse process. The opening in the center, the opening in the center, center here, the opening. This is where the spinal cord passes through. This is where the spinal cord passes through. This opening here, this opening here is known as the neural canal or known as the vertebral foramen. Vertebral foramen or is also known as the neural canal. Neural canal or the vertebral foramen. Then this part here is the centrum. The special thing about the thoracic vertebrae has this extra two side openings here. This side opening here, this one is known as the transverse foramen or vertebral canal. This is where the blood vessels from the brain goes through to the heart, then to the heart to the brain, heart to the brain, brain to the heart, blood vessels pass through the transverse foramen. That's a special thing. If you see extra or two extra openings inside, they are confirmed. Stratos, fratos, you know the one is already the cervical. Okay, thoracic vertebrae, let's just generally, like I said, just generally, let's just go through this part. Yeah? Thoracic vertebrae also got spinous process, that got transverse process. The opening is still present, the center opening, which is the vertebral foramen, still will be present there. Then, centrum, here got centrum, here also got centrum. The special thing, the special thing about the thoracic vertebrae, it's a site for ribs attachment. So, ribs can attach. No other vertebrae, no lumbar vertebrae cannot, sacrum cannot, coccyx cannot, cervical cannot, only the thoracic vertebrae can have deep attachment. Ribs from the back are attached, then come in front to the spinal. So this attachment of rib happens, happens at the thoracic vertebrae. Yeah? It's got 12 thoracic vertebrae and all of it have got rib attachment from the back. Okay?
Okay, then generally one more, one more part, like I just do this. Yeah, and the other parts are all the same. Just remind you, other parts are still the same. Still will have a spinal process. Still will have a transverse process. Still will have a vertebral foramen. Still will have a centrum. So the unique part is whenever I see these, I know automatically this is the thoracic vertebrae. Then what about the lumbar vertebrae? What about the lumbar vertebrae? Lumbar vertebrae has got this thicker, larger tando. This tando is known as the spinal process. So the spinal process is thicker and larger. Still got the neural canal of the vertebral foramen. Vertebral foramen of the neural canal at lumbar vertebrae and somewhere, right? Then we have large, 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 huge centrum. So if you see a centrum that is larger, you know this is the lumbar vertebrae. And not only that, if you see got extra putando in the side, extra putando in the side here, this one is known as the zygapophysis or articular process present. Then you know this is the lumbar vertebrae. Okay, this is just a general part of it. I also see it this way. Why not ask questions like this? Why not ask questions like this? Traditional way of giving a vertebrae is drawing in this way and asking for this, but not. But in reality, the vertebrae are not this way. If this is the spinal process, you turn the spinal process, the marker kind of here, this is the head here, spinal process, you turn it this way, this is how it's placed. That means if this is the spinal process, this part here will be the spinal process. If this is the transit process, this part here will be the transit process. The opening in the center, the opening in the center, the vertebral foramen, this is also the vertebral foramen, this will be the center. So in reality, our bones are this way, our place is where. So I'm standing here, right? Position this way, my vertebral column will face here, and the spinal cord passes through inside here. Then there's another thing, guys. There's this cartilage disc, cartilage disc in between here. This is known as the intervertebral disc, or also simple terms, we call it the cartilage disc. This is where people who have got sleep disc. Sleep disc happens when the intervertebral disc comes up, then the bone on top and the bone down there have got friction. They rub up on each other there, so when they have got when you sit down and the compression occurs and everything there, when you move, when you sleep and everything, when there's compression on the back bone, if there is no this here, this board, vertebral number one and vertebral number two, we will have to Hopefully, hopefully this gives you an idea of what is important. Stressing here for this part here, for this aspect, this is comparison part between all these three types of vertebrates, cervical, thoracic and the lumbar vertebrae. No, they all have got the similarities of spinal process, spinal process, spinal process, transverse process, transverse process. If you ask me what's the function of the processes, see behind here, all the sharp part, if you can see behind here, you feel all the muscles actually stick to the processes. So what's the function of the spiral process, the transverse process? It's the site for muscle attachment. All the muscles in the back attach to the spiral process, the transverse process. What's the function of the vertebral foramen? There's the part where the spinal cord passes through. What's the function of the centrum? This is the place where the cartilage is present. Largest centrum, lumbar vertebrae. One more special thing about the lumbar vertebrae, yeah, it's got these two extra sandu. No bother so much for the spelling here, guys. Check properly, check properly in your notebook, in your textbook, go through a This is the zygomorphosis there. Present here, present here. Total canal, total canal, total canal. Special thing about the cervical vertebrae, special thing about the cervical vertebrae, blood vessels, nerves, part through the transverse foramen. Here, what's the special thing? What's the special thing? Got a rig, a test, got a rig, a test. What's the special thing here? Hopefully it helps you a little bit and this is important for chapter 2, the most important part I will say will be the vertebral column. That's all.